I would rather take getting for not hopping on than going on with someone that I'm dating to argue about whether or not I'd let them be a human shield or something. Hunter Avalon is being used as a sort of like icon of the debate to berate Stardust and Beckett for entertainment. You know full well, Beckett, that you would not be able to stop me. No way, bro. No way. <laughs> oh, Don't just no! patronize me. <laughs> oh my that god! Is, I'm trying to. Oh my god. You are oh my god, how is that? I'm not, even, I'm not joking. I'm serious. I will break up with you. BPF's argument is whatever it needs to be to stoke maximum chaos in your relationship. Um, our relationship is. He is used to getting cuffed. Don't worry about it. You and I are going to have words after this, too, Beckett, just so you know. So. Oh, it's so awkward. Why? 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 Okay, so look, I saw this happen. And I thought it might be fun to talk about. I don't know if we're going to cover every single second of it, um, but I want to get into some of the main, the main aspects of it, I guess. So yesterday, I'll just explain. We're not going to watch the debate itself um, because I'm not really interested in any more Hunter Avalone memes beyond what we've already discussed. But basically, the long story short is Big Papa Fascist debated um, Stardust on Hunter Avalon, right? Now, in the course of that debate, from what I can gather, there was a moment where Stardust spoke about Beckett, who is Stardust's boyfriend, um, like the idea that Beckett would use Stardust as like a human shield or something, as Hunter Avalon is said to have with his missus. And then at the end of the call, then at the end of the call, <laughs> Big Papa Fascist, I, I don't know how it happened, but Big Papa Fascist ended up getting Beckett into the call. And then he was just like berating them about this idea. And I heard about this and I was like, I've got to check this out for myself. What the fuck? What happened? What happened? So apparently there was a whole bunch of stuff that came up off of it. I'm not necessarily interested in every scrap of content off of this. Um, but, you know, I thought I'd just watch a bit of it and just see the flavor of what happened. And we'll kind of go from there. I like I like BPF. I do, I do like it. I don't disagree. I don't agree with everything he says, obviously. But he's a funny guy. I don't think you could deny that. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's have a little look, see, and see what happened here. So, good evening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's have a look and see what happened. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, good evening. Good Beckett, evening, sir. I want to hear you say, I want to hear it come out of your filthy British mouth, that <laughs> you would allow for Stardust to throw herself between you and a shooter. Well, Just tell me I that. Didn't say, I didn't say that. Hey, hey thanks for the gift. Just tell me that. Did you fucking, did you, did you just literally get me on a fucking stream to be like, hey, Becca, I know you're British and therefore are scared of guns. Can you just admit that you're like American girlfriend? You'd be fine with her being a human shield. Is that your serious fucking argument? Yes. Well, am I right okay. or what? Or of course right? it is. Okay, it's big baba fascist. No, obviously no. not. No. <laughs> obviously fucking not. But secondly... That the reason that Ralph is here is what happened was Stardust debated Andrew Wilson, big papa fascist, on Ralph's stream, on the kill stream, about this Hunter Avalon situation. Um, and then, I don't know how it happened exactly, but Beckett got brought on to be berated over some point that Stardust had. And... From what I understand, it caused some sort of relationship issue. I don't know how true that is. Obviously, people like to say things and overstate it. But I thought we'd give it a little watch and see what's going on. Watch for a little bit, at least. That's not what fucking happened, is it? <laughs> like... Yeah, it's not. No, no, it is. It is what happened, Beckett. What happened okay. is she jumped in front of him because he panicked and couldn't do anything. 
because he's a dumb, slack-jawed coward, right? That's what actually – but she did jump in front of him. Now, in that situation, Beckett, are you going to say oh. that that's appropriate, that you wouldn't jump in front of Stardust, that you would appreciate if she jumped in front of you because you're afraid of guns, Beckett? <laughs> well, you know, we still have crossbows here. Um would you have stalked him down with a cross? Listen, I do appreciate where Andrew's coming from, right? Andrew is like a kind of more paternal conservative kind of aspect, right? I think he's pointing out that he would want to like protect his woman, protect his family. You know, I understand where he's coming from. However, from my perspective, there's no woman's life that's worth more than mine. So I don't really fucking care. Yeah. Shoot away. Far, far away. Go crazy. I'm, I'll be in the other room. Bo Beckett. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, obviously. Listen, I-, I could get another girlfriend. You can't get another fucking Chod Logic, okay? So I'm thinking of you, if nothing else. I'm gonna do it in Britain. We've got laws for that. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, I need a license, of course. You obviously. gotta answer the I'm question. Right though, I see you trying to avoid. You gotta answer. <laughs> answer no, the I mean, look, as, far as, as, far as, as far as I know, from Chod Pistorius. Stuff, that's not. <laughs> Like she jumped or like got hit in some way by shrapnel, but then they both got out onto the balcony, right? Oh, like yeah, so she stepped, he was there so wielding the gun next to her. Yeah. So what happened is she she jumped in front when she noticed Conrad was holding a gun. Hunter was still calculating what the fuck is going on. Yeah. Stop there. Stop and there. then stop right there. They both right there. Ran. Hang on. Just stop there. Just right there. That one point. So me and Stardust will agree on this point. So here's one thing about this dynamic that I really don't understand. Okay? Don't talk about my daughter because that ruins the joke, okay? Listen. This is the thing that I don't understand about this whole situation. Is why on earth would you go on to this kind of show and, and argue about this with like your significant other? I just don't understand the logic here. I would rather take getting shit for not hopping on than going on with someone that I'm dating to argue about whether or not I'd let them be a human shield or something. I don't know, this just seems like such a bad idea. It's on the kill stream. It's with Andrew Wilson. Like, this is like one of the... Wor- I cannot imagine a world where I would agree to this dynamic. I'd, I'd just take the heat for not going on the show over and above going and laying your relationship to bear. Sure, it's for content, but for me, I would value my personal relationship over whatever the content was, unless it was literally just some casual situation that didn't matter to me. Right? Am I crazy here? Like, why would you do this willingly? Before she moves on, that he panicked and she jumped in front. Now, I don't know about panic even, but like, yeah, he was thinking about the situation. He wasn't sure what was happening. Yeah, so that, I mean, that's all the signs of panic. But she jumped in front. Now, Beckett, if the roles were reversed and it was you and Stardust, would your expectation be that she jumped in front? It wouldn't be my expectation, no. Would but you jump in like, front, Beckett? He, it's not like he could control it. It's not, I'm sure it wasn't jump, Hunter's okay. expectation either well, that like, she would jump in front. Couldn't you play hopscotch? Like, she jumped in front, you jump in front of her, right? I, okay, like, uh, firstly, like, it's very hard. <laughs> like, listen, like, Andrew's clearly, like, just playing with his food, right? He's having fun here. He is, you know, he's trying to make some, like, underlying point, I guess. He's obviously got his mentality and his ideology that he wants to put out there. But clearly the dynamic here is, I'm going to bring these fuckers on and have some fun. Obviously, the audience on like, the kill stream is going to be fucking loving this. Why subject yourself to this? Just say... Not really appropriate. I'm not going to do that. Yes, BPF is a lion toying with a wounded gazelle. That's what it feels like watching this. Crazy. Do, Utterly like, I, insanity. I'm the mental gymnastics of this. Unless you've been in what? those situations. I have. No, no, unless you've been in those situations. Like, I've, I've been in... Like, you realise you can say no to things. You're allowed to say no, right? And yeah, you'll get a bit of stick if people think you're being a pussy. But you're better off saying no rather than saying yes and this happening, which is way fucking worse. Jesus Christ. And it's not even like unreasonable. It's not an unreasonable thing that you're like, do you know what? 
I'm not going to go on the kill stream and litigate the details of what would happen if someone came into the house and tried to murder us. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to give that a miss, to be honest with you. Threatening situations as well. I've, I've got a fair idea how I'd act. That doesn't necessarily mean that's how Hunter would act or even the average person, right? Yeah, okay. So what? That's, so, not, that's so, not pertinent to my question. My question's about well, you and Stardust. Not even doesn't even have anything to do with Hunter. Just asking if the roles were reversed, would you be the guy? Yeah, I'd probably try and get her out of the way of danger. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. But you don't think it's cowardice that he didn't, right, Beckett? <laughs> look, at, listen to his um, tone. He's taking the piss. Were, but <laughs> if okay, look, he didn't just leave her alone. Oh my he god, her... dude! I can see exactly. It's like I can see. It's like a Rube Goldberg machine of human misery, and I can see it all playing out in front of me. What's going to happen next? Boom, 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 boom. Right? It's very obvious that this is a completely inappropriate conversation to have on stream. Let alone with Big Papa Fascist. Let alone on the fucking kill stream. Why? Obviously, this is a terrible idea. You're not going to come out of this looking good no matter what you say and what you do. Okay? It's just going to cause friction. It's just going to cause issues. I can see it all. I see it all happening. Uh, injury. They got out of the room together. Um, I, I, what, what, what are your expectations of what Hunter should have done here? Now, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and defend Hunter Avalon because I don't give a fuck. But like, what realistically, what are what are your expectations of what his action should have been? Well, I would expect him to act in a way that preserves the female's life. Okay, but but, but what does that look like? Because that could be anything. Well, in this particular case, her jumping in front of him does the opposite of preservation of her life. Okay, but how did okay? So, so even if the happen? action was, was the just actual... to grab her and run off with her or jump in front of her, any of these things I might consider acceptable. But just to flee the other direction while screaming to her to run, which is what he reported and the papers reported, that seems to me to be the epitome of cowardice. They were both running. They were, no, he was they running were both first. Running, yes. He was running first. He may have ran First, but she was running as well. Yeah, I don't well, even. I don't. Runs I don't first. even know if. I don't even know if we've got enough information to know with certainty what did or didn't happen. All we've got is um, like Hunter and Holly's statement on what happened. We've got the video out the back. Um, yeah, and obviously Andrew Wilson's position is rooted in, like I say, this kind of uh, paternal, fatherly aspect of analysis, right? Like. <laughs> Obviously, if my kid's life was in danger, okay? If my fucking kid's life was in danger, yes, obviously. I would hope in the moment I would take some action to protect them. And I would just <laughs> pick it up one of my kids. Hey, go, whoa, target practice and then fucking run. Obviously, yes, I'm going to take some action to defend people that I care about and loved ones, right? That was my hope and that's my thought process, okay? I could just make a new kid. That's cope. How is it cope? I'm saying I hope I would do that. I don't know for sure, right? Who fucking knows? You you hope the best for yourself in those sort of situations, but you don't know what the reality is. But obviously the Hunter Avalon situation, who the fuck knows what happened? All you've got is Hunter's fucking words on what happened, Holly's words on what happened. Um, so yeah, this certainty that's being stated is silly. You're arguing on certainty with things that are still kind of uncertain, and you don't know the true nature of what happened because I don't think any of it was recorded or documented. But that's all irrelevant and besides the point because this is no longer a debate about Hunter Avalone, right? Hunter Avalone is being used as a sort of like an icon of the debate to berate Stardust and Beckett for entertainment. <laughs> So why you just leave? That's the only the only way that these two can win is to leave. Okay, that's it. That's the only option you've got. Leave the conversation. Obviously, they don't leave the conversation, and now all this content has happened. But it's just the first pussy. That's the way that that works. That's what he's okay? supposed to do. That's what he's supposed to do in that situation. You're not supposed to let her stand stand guard as the human shield while he runs in that situation. This is not what the situation calls for. Okay, just just from a positioning point in the room here, because like we're getting to the weird logistics. Do we know where they were standing when they became aware of an active shooter? 
Tell they me had that. walked Why? down to the uh they walked down to the uh apartment building's glass front Ooh, door. Oh, you feel about that stuff? Out of it, <laughs> it sounds when, so sure. Uh, Conrad showed up and I guess he had the gun with him. So, that's all we know about it. So at that point, is that the point when Hunter was like, shit, he's got a gun, we should run, and then run? Well, he was slack-jawed. He was, he didn't know uh, what I think to he do. was trying he was to panicked. estimate. Yeah. He was panicked, and he was slack-jawed, and he said, he, while he was trying to determine what was going on, because apparently his processor is a little bit slow, she heroically ran and jumped in front of him. And then as he was fleeing, he shouted, run, run, run. Okay, well, my question, okay. Did run, Mitch! Run! previous partner was there to kill him well she didn't know she it had at that a suspicion. point suspicion she certainly did yeah yeah but he had the same suspicion so she okay so so they both had the suspicion that the target of her ex-boyfriend was hunter not her so what yes so so the reasonable reaction from her is to be less inclined to run because she why would that i thought that he was her. an abuser and we don't believe abusers because they do anything they can to abuse so yeah, we might not so it, why would she she might believe that why would she why would she believe no, no. a manipulative abuser that makes no sense beckett well she was with him for 11 <laughs> years bro like you know she no, clearly no, no. believed him long enough to be with him for 11 years yeah so she says yeah, just it, because she's stupid doesn't mean that she believed him yeah, but we're not we're not talking about like hey what was her intelligent action here we're talking about what actions people took with the information they had and yeah the information but, they both had was yeah. he's here to kill hunter get hunter out of the way he's not here to kill holly holly feels in less danger now whether that's the reality is almost fucking irrelevant to their actions. oh i don't think so safe. because if you okay. got a call in China, right, little, so uh, funny to watch or whatever the fuck you call it in the uk if you got a call from your manager house, of your flat and your <laughs> manager of your flat said hey back it you fucking Ed Sheeran look-alike motherfucker. There's a guy with a suitcase who's walking around here who looks awful suspicious. And you had an inkling that it might be Stardust's ex-boyfriend there to possibly exterminate you or her or both. If you went to check out the situation, would you take Stardust with you, Beckett? No, I wouldn't. No, but you I, wouldn't. You bet, you nah. bet I would insist on coming, though. Uh-huh. And would yeah, you let okay. her no, would no, you let you her back it? Oh my coming, god. What? You <laughs> so, like, you and, like I, I she... fucking listen, <laughs> Why? I, I fucking okay, I hate both these sides because because again Look, like, he's yes, laughing at you no expectations here. I'm not Hunter, and there is going to be a different fucking reality to these things. So yes, you're right. I would in those situations are uh, like either go on my own. In fact, do you know what actually like as we're talking about what I would do? I probably wouldn't check things out. I would probably secure the location as best I could and phone the fucking police. I wouldn't go on my own with a fucking Smart camera or whatever. Hey, I don't have any problem. That's... Look, I'm... Beckett, I don't have like... any problem with that either. But assuming that you just felt the inclination to check things out, is there any <laughs> fucking world perceivable? Sure. Is there any world perceivable where you're going to take Stardust with you to do that? No, there is no, no. You think there is. You isn't. can stop me. Mm. Yeah, I think yes, you can stop. Yes, I do. You're yeah. fucking tiny. Yeah. What are you right. talking about? Yes, that's what I want to fucking hear, Beck. Now, Beckett, let me ask you the second thing. Second, second question. Maybe you can sure. make this a bit more decisive for me. I can see that Ethan Ralph is choking over the there. water. He's about to choke to death from laughter that he's trying to hold in. Gotcha. Yeah, got <laughs> the thing is, is like, him. look, <laughs> over to you, Beckett. After. The situation unfolds and they're in the back porch. You've seen the notorious call, right? Where he's filming it. She's shot in the leg. She's bleeding everywhere. See that video, man. Oh, God. The sounds. The sounds. The, the, the moans of pain. She's in front of the sliding glass door. Assume for a second you had made the awful and stupid decision to take Stardust with you. And she had taken one in the leg. As you were fleeing back up, you went through the front door. He sees you go through the front door. One of you has to stay on the end of the balcony, and you're looking over the balcony to determine if he's coming around that way or if he's coming through the front door. But he sees you coming in the front door. Would you put her in front of the sliding glass door, or would you put her in front of the covered position next to the sliding glass door where she's out of sight back it um 
Why she, she shot in the leg, this? by the way, just so you know. Why is he even... I'd rather get fucking waterboarded at Guantanamo Bay than go on a stream with a significant other to discuss the home defense scenarios that I would indulge in in front of a massively hostile audience against someone that's just there to fuck around and troll and fucking... <laughs> Why? I just don't understand the logic of putting yourself in this situation. When you don't need to. It's like an unforced error. There's literally no reason to do this. You cannot win. It is literally impossible for you to win, right? Because either you're going to have to agree with what Andrew Wilson is putting out and then you're undermining Stardust's whole fucking... Presumably, I've not watched it. Presumably, you're then beginning to undermine Stardust's like whole argument, you know, and, and undermine Stardust on the show of this hostile audience or whatever. Altern your girlfriend. Alternatively... You need to say, nah, fuck this bitch. That might work, actually, funnily enough. The Giga Chad, I don't care about women thing might work. Maybe that might piss Stardust off. I don't know. But, like, there's no angle you've got with which you can win. You're losing in one way or another. The only way you can win is not playing. That's it. Oh, shit. This time she's, uh, she's, no, I'm she's wounded. Trying to, I'm trying to work out the logistics. Yeah. Like, oh, and I'm trying to remember back to the footage. Um, <laughs> I mean, ultimately, again, she's just been shot. My first thing would be, like, how can, like, are we stopping the bleeding? Is she going to be all right? That kind of shit. Yeah, but I would you stop know... her bleeding behind the cover or in front of the sliding glass door where there's no cover? So you're basically <laughs> calling him a double coward. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Anyway, I'm not yeah. Being, like, like, coward at first and then I coward again. Coward, right? I don't think <laughs> well, the argument... Well, okay, so I, I don't I think the argument... I am going to take a huge... I have to take a huge issue with this. You know full well, Beckett, that you would not be able to stop me. You can say you would try to stop me, but- Oh my God, look how pleased Andrew, he, Andrew knows. He knows. He's baited successfully. The puppet master. The end of the fucking day, I would be coming through the fucking door with you. You know I it. I don't think he'd let you stop. You look, know I he don't, would. I, he would not oh. be able to fucking stop me. Don't act I like don't you would because of us, I, listen, there have been plenty of, us would of situations be going the where door. I have been the one going out, all right? So don't fucking act that way. You see where yeah, the feminism the ends is where the penis asking... begins. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's what that's okay. what just that's oh what we God. just saw live. Beckett said exactly what I predicted he would oh, say no. before he ever came on stream. Yeah, there ain't no again, way he'd ever let you start. Us no, says, how would he stop me? And it, Beckett it, says, I'd does, fucking stop her. Believe he me. You couldn't. He could not okay, stop but, but me. I've been in these. Times. Oh, no. There are plenty of times. Like hold on. Hold there on, are plenty hold on, of hold on, times. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no fucking way, bro. No fucking way. <laughs> oh, don't no! fucking patronize me. Oh my god! I'm not trying to fucking. Oh my god! Oh my god! How is how is I wouldn't let my partner get shot? Me patronizing. I wouldn't fucking. Oh let my you go god! Out by yourself, you dumb Bro. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you wouldn't, but at the same time, you probably you would probably I be sensible pro enough to try and stop, stop me from me going from out. No, you. you'd. You'd you'd probably I would hope you'd be smart enough that if I was dumb enough to want to go out, you'd try and stop me. I would pro yes, because I would try to stop you up. from going out, period. Yeah. But if you're insisting yeah, sure. on going out, so, you're not going out there by yourself. Okay, but but Okay, Come on, but Beckett, oh boy. Now's your, chance, now's your being... chance to push back. You know no. you'd tie her up. Look There's no way she's <laughs> Look at fucking Andrew is just sat back, chucking a couple of stones from the sidelines. He's what was Beckett's purpose? In, was he trying to help Stardust out by coming on? Is he really so retarded that he cannot see that by coming on, he is creating a, a riddle that is impossible to solve without some loss? Oh, dude, it's unreal. Well, how did this come to be? How did it come to be that he came on the stream? Was it literally just Andrew insisted he come on and he was like, yeah, okay, I'll come on. Was that it? The fucking door, no. right? yeah, look, no. Listen, listen. Yes, of course. No. You don't fucking in. Listen, I've been in situations. Listen. Don't act. Honey, no, bro. Sorry. Don't even. No, no, no. There's no. absolutely no, no fucking way. No, I'm absolutely sorry. not. I'm... No, absolutely not. No, no. Yeah, but it's asking me. It's not asking what Hunter would do. So I'm also, sorry. Hold on. Hold on. I am hold on, following hold on, hold on. you, and you can't fucking... stop me from following you.
can I can I just push back on this this whole narrative building from Andrew, by the way? Because I understand why you're doing this and why you fucking phoned me because you know me and you knew what the fucking conversation would look like. Well, but, but hang on, in my I'm defense, not... oh, in my no. defense, real quick, he realizes in a trap. I did get your back, Beckett? I got your back. <laughs> so what I did, and and Ralph can confirm this. I said. Beckett would tie your fucking ass up for you, let you out of that house, no, he and he'd can't. move he you. Fucking, he he would move you to the to do position, <laughs> whether you liked it or you fucking didn't like it. That's what Beckett's gonna do. And you were like, nah, I didn't. Beckett thinks I'm a strong woman, not feminism bullshit. No, and then not, Beckett came not, on and he I'm was not like, saying that he thinks I'm a strong just, woman. I think that he's baby. fucking. That's I think he's Beckett posturing. Did. I think he's posturing right now. Like, let's be real. You do not have anything in your. I'm so. I'm sorry, but like, I. Beyond giga chad farming, joking, whatever, right? I think any man who cares about a woman is going to come on and say, I would not let you come with me. Like, what man is going to come on and say anything other than that if you want to express genuine concern and care for the woman that you're with? Who the fuck is going to come on? Un unless it's a joke. They're all a man is always going to go, yeah, I wouldn't let you come with me. I'll go check it out by myself. XQC. Yeah, but the difference is XQC was like communicating that idea to his own stream and there was a bit of a tongue-in-cheek element to it too. And it wasn't in front of like a hostile audience with an interlocutor who was trying to just stir whatever he's trying to fucking stir. <laughs> and also, he's not doing it in a way that undermines his... Per you know, the whole point here is Andrew's brought him on because he knows he's going to be able to undermine what a Stardust point, which is obviously going to make Stardust look bad in this debate in front of the hostile audience, on the kill stream, and so on and so forth. Honestly, a masterful gambit, I must say. Fucking house to tie me up with, and you would not be able to stop me from coming out the door behind you. I would, of course, want you to stop and not even go out in the first place, but if you're insisting on going, there is no way in hell I would let you go out by yourself. I had your back, Beckett. I want you to. I want to let you know. Listen, listen. I if had there your was back. Any reasonable way that you're I could in a relationship you with me, out? not with him. Oh my god! Listen. Fuck me. Did you really say that I wouldn't stop trying to stop you going out there? No, I didn't say Look. that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that at all. I said that I would obviously not let you go out by yourself. I didn't say that I would. That you would wouldn't try to stop me. <laughs> Beckett, listen, she's listen, not going I out of the fucking, fucking house, right, Beckett? This is a fucking yeah. No, fucking not. Absolutely. Like, yeah, this isn't even posturing. <laughs> I'm sorry, like you hun, are, you, ever you are fucking me posturing. I'm not. I'm gonna no, fucking no, 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 leave. No, 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 no. I'm going to rage quit right now. I'm gonna rage quit. <laughs> oh, I'm, no. I'm going to fucking break up with you. Like I, I am. I'm not even. I'm not joking. I'm serious. I will break up with you. Beckett, Beckett, now's the chance to call her bluff. <laughs> now's the no, 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 I am hovering out, over no. the leave call right now. Hang right? on, hear me out, hear me out, oh, Beckett, no, listen, come on, come no woman, on. no woman on planet Earth is ever going to dump you because you say that you're going to make her sit there no, while you confront the danger, they'll never do it. No, no, he's being chivalrous. I'm this close, I'm this close, I am this close. No, no, it's... Ask Beckett. It's all good. It's all good. Fair enough. We can wrap. We can wrap it here. It's all good. No. BPF is a bit wild for pushing this. That's just BPF. That's what he does. Did you not see the fucking debate con thing, where he had a go? Have fun with your husband. I mean, come on. This is exactly his fucking this thing, isn't it? I don't really watch these Red Pill podcasts, but I've heard that he's been battering women. I've heard he's been battering women as well. When I went to look for some of this earlier, I saw his YouTube channel, and it's all just him, like, shitting on women on what, on the Whatever podcast. Based, honestly. Oh, no, no, we don't I, want I to do, see that. I do, want, I do want to say one thing, because I think this is, listen, as funny as it is, I think it's a red fucking herring. Because while while this is all hilarious, and it's a great little fucking it's a whole boyfriend in, and then he'll reinforce <laughs> my point. The truth is, I don't think this is like accounting for cowardice. I think this is just accounting for like stupidity. Oh yeah, then why like, wouldn't you I, do it? I'm... Then why wouldn't you do it? Then why wouldn't but, you take but... your girl with you? Why wouldn't you do it? Because that's what a fucking coward would do, right, Beckett? Well, it's okay. Listen, you can call it cowardice if you like. I call it fucking stupidity. <laughs> Maybe it's both. I don't know. Can it be Polly? both? 
Can it be stupid and cowardly? It's not cowardice. It's not. No. I don't. I don't know if I'd call it cowardice. Um, like I genuinely wouldn't. It's the problem. The problem here is that the information that they're working on is that it's her ex partner. I don't. I don't think they've been in a relationship very long. Like it's what a couple of months, if that. You know, it's it's a it's a radically different situation to. BPF was just hammering home his trad points. This shitty elationship getting fragged was just a side benefit. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I disavow. I just think this this serves as a lesson as to why you should try and avoid. I mean, again, it's the classic thing of. You know, having a, a publicized relationship and being a little couple that comes on stream. Give that a miss. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Like a massively long term relationship. Um, it's it's firstly her actual ex partner who she's been with her for eleven years. This isn't just some random fucking person. Um, and also Hunter's in the position where he's being dragged into somebody else's life drama. Yeah. Um, which is which is a, which, which is radically different. Okay, I just opened the Discord up. Ryzek has uh, has done this. What is this? Dude, that is un <laughs> that is unbelievable. I cannot believe you've drawn this. This is shocking. That's disgraceful. Different. Yeah, and but... What I'd ask you is this. Yeah, like, yeah, go ahead. Okay, you're calling Hunter a coward and everything yeah. else, but he didn't just fucking jump over the balcony and try and escape. Um, well, I mean, that's because it, it would it was a two story drop, probably. So I don't there's know. that. But not only that, I Beckett, really, the whole thing ends here with this. If your best friend, your best pal, was in this same exact situation and you talk to him afterwards, the very first thing out of your mouth would be, You stupid motherfucker, why'd you let that chick go out with you? Why did you go out? But at, at the very least, why the fuck did you let your woman go with you? And he'd be like, oh, fuck. And he would say, you're fucking dumb and you're a sissy. That's what would happen, Ben. But we didn't would... even disagree on this, Andrew. We both agreed that they both shouldn't have gone out in the first place. Yeah, but is it cowardice that he had I to don't... drag his chick with him I don't in order it's... to go check on the threat? That'd be like me waking my wife up him, in the middle though. of the night. It'd be like me waking up in the middle of the night. My wife's like, I heard a noise downstairs. And I'm like, okay, I'll check it out. You're coming with me, right? <laughs> we don't know that's that we, wait, 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 Andrew. We don't know that that's what happened. No, we don't well, know that well, that's no, the we situation. We do. We do. We do have the timeline of this but because we, do, this, we don't have we this. Do. No, we don't have the conversation of him saying, "Hey, do you want to come with me?" Yeah, we don't but have that. Why? Why was she with him? We don't know. Well, because they th he got a call while he's in the apartment. He got the call explaining that there was somebody lurking around right and he said that he went to check it out and she went with him yeah so we do know we so don't thing know is, why is like, that happened yeah though. because he didn't say no bitch you're staying here that's why it happened no it couldn't no, no, have no, no. happened any other way that, how think, else could it have happened I, she was like she had a gun and was again, like, coming I, with I you come on i think that's perfectly fucking normal for plenty of relationships just because yeah. i wouldn't act in that situation in that way doesn't doesn't mean don't, plenty of other it. men would no dude, are you checking even. out the threat in don't. the middle of the night with stardust come on dude no you're not are you, you are really not going that. to act like i would let you go by yourself somewhere you really going to act like you have a choice <laughs> yeah i do yeah, look, it, look, but I think, but I think there are differences in those situations. Like again, we're talking about very specifically Hunter's situation. Yeah, I probably would act differently. But if it's something in the middle of yeah, this is the problem they're having as well. You're you're accepting the premise of like the Hunter situation in relation to your circumstance and this theoretical situation that you're going to be in. Like you're probably better off clarifying. I mean, first of all, it is it is just I don't think there's enough information, hard facts, video footage, or something like that. All you've got is people's words on what happened in obviously a high stress situation. So I'm just getting some stuff through. Looks like there's going to be some more drama. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> anyway, we shall see. Um, but yeah, in this situation, who, who knows what happened? Um, you know, obviously, I think that.
the idea that you would go out and check and then also bring your partner with you is absurd. And I don't think any man worth his salt would come on and go, yeah, that's a good thing to do. You know, you would either say, I, if you were kind of a bit more masculine minded, you might say, I'd go and check by myself. Um, you know, or alternatively, you might just say, yeah, I'd just call the police because they're the people that deal with that shit. And that would probably also be acceptable. But the problem is, I'm guessing that Stardust has pushed this idea in order to defend Hunter that she would make it so she had to go. But then him coming on and saying this just undermines it, right? But, uh, but yeah. For the night? Yeah, maybe. Like, again, I think women should be firearm trained. Like, my mum was like this when we were in South Africa. My dad is not a great oh, shot. Wow. It was my mum who was, like, the fucking shooting, uh, like, to chase off robbers. Women are absolutely capable of defending themselves with firearms. I I don't know if I completely agree with your narrative of Ooh. it should only <laughs> just be the man. You're asking what I would do, but that's not well, necessarily normative. Well, um, I feel like I have made my case and have completed my case, and I have nowhere I else think, to go I with think it. You're attributing, I think you're attributing <sighs> stupidity to cowardice and bad decision-making. Beckett, also, all I, I need to know is how you would react in the situation. Yeah, but, I know that the but, acting to yeah, the ulterior to that, here. you would consider to be <laughs> pussy. That would be, you would consider him to be a fucking wuss, Beckett. Come on. Okay, okay well, let's let's ask the other question then. Isn't it? Isn't, the first response to this, like, why is it just to like come today? Up another this day, is I what don't I know. Kind of don't get over this shit. It wasn't the because first this response. is obviously quite a fucked. Yeah, it's Conrad. It's really... At the end of the day, it's Conrad who is responsible for Holly getting shot. Nobody's taking. Nobody is making the claim to the contrary. We can walk and That's chew true. bubble gun at the same time. In fact, we can say I that there's argue... no justification for somebody to show up and do something. Like Hunk it down, guys. Time, it's about to get nuclear. The things which led up to it and the behavior that was enacted during it. We can do both things. We can say both Stand back and things, stand by, and we can A-loggers. Tell, tell you which ones are the most wrong. It was the most wrong right. what that guy did. Under but that the doesn't impression, mean... Right, Andrew, but under the impression that they didn't think that Conrad would be showing up with a gun, they maybe thought that he would show up, but not with a gun. Under that impression... It Who cares if they showed up it, with a bat it, or it, this? It, it, because they, it, under that impression, it is perfectly reasonable that uh, she uh, wanted to come along with him. Oh, I see. Okay, if that's fair, then if that's your actual argument, then Beckett. If it was just a guy showing up with a baseball bat, would you go confront him with Stardust then? We don't know that he has a baseball bat. We, no, we right, you don't know. But I mean, assuming whatever he has, even if it's just his fist. I mean, he shows up with his bare hands. Right. Why but, in the yeah, world yeah. would Beckett take him? The smartest him? thing would have been, we agree, the smartest thing would have been for them to stay in their apartment and call the police. And the most courageous thing, and you said this earlier, that you would have considered if Hunter had gone out and confronted him by himself and the guy had had shot Hunter, you would have considered that to have been a courageous act. Those, those words came out of your mouth. But also stupid. Yeah, massively but still, fucking but still stupid. courageous. And that's why I say... I mean, an act can be courageous and stupid, right? Okay? Like, if there's a horde of locusts in your store stealing a bunch of stuff and you decide to confront them and they shoot you in the head dead, that's a very courageous thing to do. But you've just been shot dead over a thousand dollars of fucking merchandise. Like, you know, why would you fucking do that? That's stupid, right? Yes, courage and stupidity go hand in hand. Exactly. So, yeah. Obviously, just going out. <laughs> Imagine just going out. Well, listen here, mister. I don't like what you've got to say. <sighs> get blown the fuck away. Obviously, if you're going to be courageous, there's a chance you're going to get hurt doing that. So probably probably best to avoid that eventuality. But yeah. That's what a pussy is. Just does the opposite of what's is, courageous. Just because <laughs> something that you do is, is something you can do is courageous doesn't mean that by not doing that thing means you're a coward. Okay, so do yeah, stupid, I, I, stupid thing a makes spectrum. you brave? Dude, do, do, doing stupid thing makes you brave? Or is it, is it brave because you're doing the self-sacrificial thing on behalf of the other person? It's not person. even the self-sacrificial thing. And that's why you call it Holly brave. You call it Holly dumb. brave because she did the self-sacrifice. Right, but it was also really fucking stupid. Yeah, but you yeah, said I, it was stunningly brave, right? It's really stupid when those firefighters run into those burning buildings, <laughs> isn't it? No. 
It's why not? Different. They're trained. Well, they're trained. Are, trained. Got the you're, you're, are they trained to breathe in smoke, Beckett? Are they trained for that? No, that's why they've got respirator. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying it's not dangerous, but it's worlds of difference between a like no. a civilian with no Sometimes training. Sometimes they don't going, follow their orders. They're dangerous. told don't go in, and they go anyway, and they save the kid, and you call them the hero anyway for disobeying, even though they did the stupid thing. This is the expectation that you have of those people, the brave among us, is that they're willing to disobey in order to do the brave thing anyway. That's what makes them a hero. That's why you call Holly a hero, and you don't call Hunter one. In I'm this sorry, case, I'm almost done. I'm honestly, almost done. I'm almost honestly. done. Honestly, I'm almost if, done, bro. And then you can respond. And that's the same reason that fucking Beckett is the guy who's going to go out in his underwear with the handgun or the baseball. I mean, yeah, I think that you know the reality is that unless unless you um you know I mean I don't as I've said before I don't think you should go and confront someone with a gun unless you've got adequate training and knowledge or whatever. But like, obviously, you would at least want to have a gun to do take that action. Having no gun and going outside to confront someone with a gun is uh, foolhardy. I think is the way you describe that, right? Probably one of the stupidest things you could possibly do. So, in that situation, your best bet is to call the police, strap in, lock the door, wait for the police to come. Right? Um, that is going to be hands down the best. The, the best move. Um, but yeah, I, I just... <laughs> dude. Oh. Yeah, listen, go... <laughs> hey, Nicholas, how's it going? Good to see you. I mean, yeah, obviously, um, again, I, I think I think that accepting the framing of this, going on to stream, all just really stupid decisions. Why did Beckett do this? If it was to help Stardust out, you've done it totally wrong. You either undermine Stardust's okay, point wonderful. or... But how yeah. do I make anyway, money? Thank you for the five bucks, Nicholas. Beckett is a bong lol. He's gonna spray some acid in the attacker's eyes. Yes. In fact, that's a good point. If you want to talk about being brave and stupid... We could probably talk about Beckett entering this debate. All bad or whatever the fuck it is and say, you stay right the fuck there, lady, until I check out whatever this is, because that's how it works. Are you seriously arguing? Like, I, I'm not sure, like this is a general question, because through, through all the attacks on Hunter, like, it feels like if he'd got shot, you'd like everyone would still be sitting here going, he's a fucking idiot for getting shot. Like, I don't see a win condition. Hey, at least be a brave this. idiot. <laughs> yeah, I, but would you be saying that? Or would you be Would you be like, wow, what a fucking idiot? Like, no. This is, this is the thing. Exactly. There is no win condition for Hunter, which is why, despite his agreement when I spoke to him, he should have just logged off for a while and not done anything and shouldn't have made a public fucking spectacle out of this, right? He could have just said, um, you know... My um, my 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 partner's ex came round and attacked attacked us. Da, 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 come up with whatever fucking tail. Logged off for a few weeks. You know the drama would have fucking whoosh, slipped away. And then you come back, you get a bit of shit, and you move on. But obviously, you know, he has got this um this this obsession with his public perception to the point where he wanted to come on and talk to me because I mean the original reason was because my title was incorrect. He didn't delete the video. He unlisted the video. He's obsessed with this public perception of him. Yes, the lol cow gene. Exactly. You? You are valid, guys. You are valid. We're all valid. Thing, might, right? What, a like what do you do? Still what, fucking what do you, dead, well, what, wouldn't you say the like, same thing with the firefighter, though? Right? The, the guy who runs in, doesn't save the children, gets the smoke in, inhalation and dies. Nobody likes the one who doesn't win, right? But he runs in anyway. If he comes out with a kid, he's a hero. If he dies inside, he was stupid. But you know, the delineation there, the delineation there is really just the preference. No, no, no. Holly is a weak age hero. He eradicated her leg. He took he got in touch with the police. He managed to gather evidence while he was doing what was going on, which is which is 
which is the same thing many journalists do in those situations. That's not unique to Hunter. That is a normative response for people who like he gather dialed, information. Well, so let me get it right. Oh, he dialed 911. The, the, literally the three numbers everybody is on planet Holly Earth dead. can remember. Is, so is he dials, Holly well, she dead. got shot. But anyway, he dials 911. I've been told you're blue balling chat. Yes, unfortunately, I'm given no other choice. My word is my bond. And if someone were to message me and say a certain thing, I mean, you know, I've got to respect that. Stand back and stand by. Not the answer to the else. question. Is she dead? No. Yeah. no. Yes so no? He's, hang on. He's dead. The other guy's dead. Maybe there could have been a situation. Are, are we just only concerned with only the preservation of those two lives? While I what, the consider, guy, hang, what, on, the guy hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm almost done. While I would consider his life to be less valuable in that situation than theirs, you don't know what other reactions could have preserved everybody's life. You have no idea. These are all post hoc rationalizations and ad hoc rationalizations. So what I'm saying here specifically is this. The delineation point and the reason that Beckett would go his ass out fucking side is because he knows that the way that uh, men do things is that way. The way that they don't do things is say, well, why don't you come along with me, Stardust, and we'll go confront together. <laughs> it's not how that works. No, but, but it's I, not, I, it's I, not, I, it's not, uh, why don't you come along with me, right? Again, it, given that they didn't, were not aware that he had a gun, right? And given, given that they were, you know, this was like the daytime as well, um, you know, the, like the, the, like you can come up with all of these, um, you know, uh, speculations of what he should have done. But at the end of the day, again, you are saying all of these things after the fact. In the situation, what he did was the correct thing to do. Every single um, expert on active shooter situations advises them to do exactly what they Honestly. did. Honestly. <laughs> Token on my lies. I don't. I honestly don't understand why you would feel the need to go on a debate and defend Hunter Avalon when uh, he's made it very clear that he's willing to do that himself. <laughs> he's obviously very keen to get on a debate and uh, argue about his own uh, attempted murder. So he's going to know better than anyone. He was there after all. So <laughs> let him go ahead and get involved in that. With the exception of Holly stepping between them, this is only if you start the story though, in the middle. You can all agree, though, though, right? They should have never, they should have never went outside. They yeah, you're only outside. you're starting. I agree with that. That's what I'm saying. You start the story in the middle, so you're yeah, like, yeah. You, what you do is you start the story in the middle, and you go, if we start the story in the middle, they did the right things, and it's like, well, yeah, great. I'm not granting you that we're going to start the fucking story in the okay, middle. But, yeah, but, they shouldn't but, but, have hold been hold out hold there hold in the first place. Gotcha. We didn't disagree That's on that. Yeah, yeah, they shouldn't have went out. Hold on, your gotcha with bringing me here was, hey, Beckett, you wouldn't let her go out with you, right? It's like, yeah, but I wouldn't go out in the first place. I answered your question, which was, no, I wouldn't if I was dumb enough to take those actions. But that that's not quite the gotcha you think it is, because again, I'm no, not is. Hunter. It's the gotcha I, I think it is. in a different way. <laughs> no, 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 it's not, Andrew. Like, I don't, I don't accept that, because... Uh, 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 let me ask but you this Hunter, question. If but you, here's if the you thing, unarmed, I accept it. Well, I you accept unarmed, it. If you were unarmed, I don't care what you fucking accept. If you were unarmed, are you oh. telling me you're dumb enough to go and uh, like confront somebody who you know hates you, feels like you've stolen their partner, wants to kill you, and may be armed? Are no. you telling me you're that fucking stupid? No, but I can also tell you unequivocally that if I was such a person who was dumb enough for whatever reason in that particular situation to go and confront them. Oh, my no. wife stayed her fucking ass inside. Oh no. Beggar thought he had the upper hand, but that's not even BPF. That's not even BPF's argument. BPF's argument. Okay. BPF's argument is whatever it needs to be to stoke maximum chaos in your relationship. That is his fucking argument. Okay. Right, Beckett? <laughs> okay, but so oh, the argument here guys, is, awkward. Hunter, Hunter did the dumb thing, and again, this isn't his wife. This You're in the spider's web. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? This is kind of an interesting one as well. If you didn't know they were armed, and your wife had a much better, or you, let's say your girlfriend, let's say you weren't married, you'd only been together a couple of months, and this was her brother or something, 
and you know her brother hates you, would you would you let her come down? You mean if her brother was showing up? Yeah, let's say, let's say her brother was uh, like really unhappy with your relationship mm -hmm. and made seriously dislike you. Like he he you 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 suspect that he may want to hurt you. Yeah. Would you let her come with you to see her brother? Um, I don't know. It, I'm, oh, no, I'm not so, sure. No, 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 no. I'm not sure that that's because all that relatable thing. when it comes to family no, actually, versus if it comes to a boyfriend. Disagree with you because the reason Holly got shot. Oh wait, hang on. Hot, you 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 suspect that he may want to hurt you. Yeah. Would you let her come with you to see her brother? Um, I don't know. It. I'm, oh, no, I'm not so, sure. No, no, no. I'm not sure that that's because all that relatable thing. when it comes to family no, actually, versus if it comes to a boyfriend. Agree with you because the reason Holly got shot was mm -hmm. because that she was trying again. Yes, she did the heroic thing and tried to protect Hunter, but she knew that Hunter was the one that he was after. So yeah. much like if you 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 were with your girlfriend and she was going and she her brother was coming and she knew that her brother wanted to hurt you. Yeah. She may get hit with shrapnel while trying to protect you from her brother. Now that might be that you might argue then. Well, you nah, know, I, should just take, I think it's I a different the, dynamic between brother. family and somebody you're fucking, bro. But I, think entirely, I think it's entirely. I think it's an entirely. Some, no, 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 hold on. I think it's an, you, now. You think let's say if it was the same history where they're like, my brother's a mentally ill abuser, lunatic, right? Then I would have barricaded us both in, right? Yeah, okay, but, but, but no, 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 but we're skipping that point. We're skipping that point. You didn't call me in here to ask if it was you, would you barricade your both, you both in? You brought me here yeah, to Yeah, but even then, so then the extension head. of that then in that situation, if it was the same history, you're just adding it's a brother instead of a boyfriend, I would still, even if I was dumb because enough to go and make the confrontation, would still leave my wife the fucking side, Beckett. Okay, but this is... But and this so is would you. And so would you. Warm. And so would every single, that would, every single man is going to give that response. Uh, you know, unless you're, like I say, trying to gig a child farm or something. Because, yeah, that's the obvious, like, what man is going to want to go on and say, yeah, I'd actually want to bring my girlfriend with me just to be on. No, you'd, you'd want to keep your fucking girlfriend safe. There's no argument or debate with that point. Um, there's no... There's no reasoning as to why... There's no explanation as to why you'd want to bring your girlfriend with you. Um... Assuming you're stupid enough to go, you are always going to say, "I would." The girlfriend would stay in the house, though. I wouldn't want her to be in danger. That's it. All all this to defend. I mean, I don't. The thing is, to me, I don't even fucking know what, what happened and the situation and the fucking narrative and stuff like that. You know, but by no means would I ever dream. Of being like, oh yeah, I'm going to defend Hunter Avalon's entire fucking action and acted like he did nothing wrong because I don't fucking know. You know, I think that righties were acting insane over it. But I mean, to be fair, when I spoke to Carol points about this briefly, it's like, yeah, the the only way Hunter could have won is to not publicize it. That's it. Because then people would have to play guessing games and you've got even more ground with which to go. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what happened. But because he's put information out there and he's drip fed information out there, people take that and spin a narrative. He then responds, you know, gives a bit more information. People respond to that. It just creates this whole drama public spectacle about it where it should be private. He's opened the floodgates, exactly. Almost, But this is why it's almost... A, actually, hold on. I actually don't know if that's the case. Well, go if ahead. Stars you would, you would take... You no, no, no. If Sal's brother turned up, I'd, I'd, that would be a very different dynamic. No, no, no. That's not, hang on. That's not what you said. So it's all, the, the entire case is the exact same. You're just inserting now it's the brother rather than the lover. But it still has the same abuse, the same, all that shit, which the chick reports to you. In this case, the well, the thing is, if you wait for the news article, what does the news article say? The news article says police confront crazed gunman, shoot him, you know, he kills himself. Boom. Yeah. The guy turned up. I called the police. Unfortunately, Holly got injured in the, the escapade. You, I don't know. It's just so... <laughs> what do I know, though, hey? What do I know? I do know one thing. I am valid.
That is for sure. The sister now. <laughs> yeah, not but, but she, has, so like... she has the same. She has the same exact thing. It's just with her brother instead of her lover. You would still do the exact same shit. But it's not. But it's not just. It's not just her lover, is it? It's. It's. It's someone she's been with for eleven years. They've been together basically their entire romantic history. Oh, come on. You, Man, I mean, this, again, this is pedantic. She's 29. She spent her entire 20s with him. Yeah, and, this is you know, pedantic. This is pedantic. Teens. With the brother, really with the brother she spent her whole life. What's your point? It's the same situation. My you, point still, is... you, you still would do the exact same thing. You'd barricade yourself in if you had no weapons. And if you didn't and you were going to go confront, you'd leave the woman there in both cases. You know it. I know it. Ralph knows it. Ralph's audience knows it. My audience knows it. Stardust. And we all fucking know it. Oh. Yeah, I would barricade us in. Damn, he's that wasn't your playing the crowd question, as well. But, and. <laughs> That's not when a gladiator stabs someone through the heart and goes, Ah! Yo! That was fucking going crazy. <laughs> oh. When you asked me that question, I clarified it immediately that I wouldn't go outside. So the the point is, if we if Star and I had just started dating, like let's let's roll the relationship back, and it okay. was her ex husband or something that doesn't yeah. exist, by the way, before anyone gets any ideas, <laughs> that they'd been to, they were still fucking married, and they were going through a divorce. Yeah, that probably would be a different situation. Like because uh, yeah, again, I mean, we maybe keep, like but, generalizing. But, but hang on, things. hang on. If we were to hyper specify here and say, OK, if it didn't have any of the abuse markers and it didn't have any of that, then, yes, it is a different situation. But in this case, if you're just saying all things are equal and all of those abuse markers are still there and everything else is still there, it's just now we're inserting a family member rather than somebody you were having sex with and in a relationship with. I still think we would react the exact same way in both those situations. Tell me I'm wrong, Beckett. I, Are you I not entertained? I think that even if you want to make those arguments that the abuse markers are there, so it's an additional, that you've got these exceptions and everything else, I think when you look at this, at the aggregate of the way of people behave when they get shot at and murdered, I don't think Hunter's actions aren't out of the realms of reality. And I will say that I think that Hunter's... Oh. the the only reason this is getting hyper-analyzed the way it is is because people hate Hunter Avalon. And I get hating Hunter Avalon, right? Like, oh. when he was going through his divorce, I wasn't particularly kind about it. Oh! I get oh. that. But in this case, I just feel like, I it's, was, I, I feel like it's picking at those little holes to the point where you're just like, ah, he's just a fucking coward. But Holly's alive. He's alive. Ultimately, well, look. Obviously, I don't want anyone to fucking die. Yeah, Holly. Hey, Holly did a good, able to get Holly did a good job deal with it. Holly did a good job. Hunter did a bad so did job. Hunter. That simple. When, when she got Hunter managed to turn a her, she was shot in the leg. The story in the middle. Dangerous, and she didn't fucking blame. No. So you started the story yeah. in the middle you, as can well. Can you and I agree on this? Can you and I agree on this? Anything that you do is ahead of your relationship, and I sure hope to God you think that you're the head of your relationship. Um, <laughs> But anything you do is ahead of your relationship, which could affect your woman and could affect your children, you're responsible for. Tread very carefully, firstly, Beckett. Firstly, <laughs> firstly our so relationship is a partnership. Our relationship is a partnership. I'm not going to be like, no, no, fuck off. Be very careful. I was thinking. Listen, listen, I'm British. Fine. Um, our relationship is He's a used to getting caught. But... Don't worry about it. No. <laughs> Uh, my rela our relationship is a partnership, but, but wait, yes, wait, what did she just say? Think... Start it. Wait, start us. What did you just say? He's used I'm, to what? I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Obviously. No, She's no, no. I want you to say it's it again. Fine. Say it again. She's allowed to again. be fucking mad at me because okay. you told me. Listen, oh, listen, no. Andrew, you and I are going to have fucking words after this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> next, next time there is anything I can yeah, exploit. I mean, you and I are going to have gonna... words after this too, Beckett. Just so you know. So. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it's so awkward. Why? 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 I feel like I'm helping you dodge a bullet no, here, brother. No, dude, I, will fucking, I will fucking murder him, right? Oh. Firstly, our relationship is a partnership. Secondly, yes, Oof. I do think that. But I also expect Star to feel exactly the same way. And I've said this multiple times. One of the reasons that I date Star is how reliable she is, how intelligent she is. She 
great at those yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. So right I don't need to, I'm I don't need to, to carry all the okay, fucking burden. Get back in. Is it a partnership? Yo! Jelly Stars with the gifted subs. Holy smokes! Five gifted subs. Thank you. That is super generous of you. I appreciate that. Or is it a partnership? What? What's that? What's that okay, meant to uh, me? Do you mean? Is that, do we have a destiny relationship? Well, I mean, no, like no. right no. now, while you're on air, it's a partnership. But then behind the scenes, He's you so... might be like, uh, let, "Why don't okay. you shut the fuck up?" We don't want to go there. Why don't Beckett. you shut the let's, fuck up? Let's and be you're real. gonna do what I say. Like, no, no, no. What? Let's be real. Beckett does not even want to go there because it is a partnership, and how much of it a is. partnership it is. It, it would be actually, <laughs> honestly, not good for him. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, There's Lord. Is in the air. It, 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 it's true. It's true. I have a holly jolly. <laughs> All right, right. Look, I'll leave it there, guys. I've enjoyed very oh. much the conversation. I feel like um, I feel like I'm going to get Beckett killed if we keep going. I think he might. Yeah, let's stop there. I, I do have one Thanks, Andrew. I really you. appreciate this, buddy. This has been fucking yeah, fantastic. Say, he really got you, man. Fucking... Hi. <laughs> Who did you think oh, you no. were talking to? You got, I'm, oh, I'm literally, you, you fucking I knew that was about to happen, happen too. Too. And No, wait, 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 Beckett, sure, no, no, Beckett, know. shut up. Beckett, shut the fuck up, all right? Yeah, Andrew, Beckett, shut up. Andrew up. and Ethan, okay? Who the fuck did, did you think you were talking to? Do you think I knew what was going to happen. Do you think I that I would date away. somebody who, who wouldn't be able to handle how feminist I am? Are you fucking kidding oh, me? Oh, no, this is cringe. I no, mean, it's it's no man can say they would let their woman go out with me from the cringe, I please. Not, not, not that he would let me. Not that he would let me. He cannot fucking stop me. They would put you down, Stardust. He cannot fucking stop me. go outside. With how, the oh, Beckett, how many times have rough. I been the one going out? All right, let me just that say that. All right, he couldn't even he couldn't say that even if he would let that happen because he would look like a listen, listen, a pussy Star, to Star everybody. Is, listen, listen, Star is Maybe highly don't. fucking capable. No, 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 Star is highly fucking capable. Uh -huh. I'm not disagreeing with that. That, but that's why she why is no, she getting okay, left so in the, the problem, house? Then? The problem with she this is left in the house. Like, so she's so how would I react in this situation? And it's probably not the same sort of like logical, rational thing with everything else because I've been in situations like this. I've seen them go fucking horribly wrong. But again, Hunter probably doesn't have that fucking experience. That's why it's a bit of an unfair question. That's because his woman was out getting gangbanged with a camel. <laughs> That's because most people smart enough to not get themselves into these situations Where in the first place. I was just to go dumb when I was younger. Where their Ooh. wife leaves them to get gangbanged? Oh. Now listen, I can understand oh. if it was Carissa, maybe he'd want her to jump in front while he ran the fuck <laughs> off. But if it's a chick that you like or a chick that you're with, who you have some respect for or something like this, come on, Beckett. Oh. She ain't coming out the fucking door with you. That's just the way oh. it works. He can't, he can't fucking stop me. He can't fucking oh, he stop Hunter yeah. could have, I don't think Hunter could have stopped Holly, and also I don't think the dynamics are the same. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, I, I just don't. I'm sure he couldn't have stopped her when she had a bullet hole in her fucking leg, couldn't move her to a covered position while he stood in front of the glass door. There's no possible way, Becky. It was, it's, it's just like, Wait, there's the, no way he could have done wait, that. Hold on. Hold on. From from what I can remember in the footage, like there's not a huge amount to cover anyway oh yes there is next to they're that they're overlooking the balcony no no hold on they're overlooking the balcony where the stairs are the stairs are coming up so that they can see access to their front door that video was just such a bad idea like now any uncertainty or un lack of clarity on what's going on like this is the problem right any gaps are going to get filled in by your worst enemies <laughs> any gaps in knowledge your worst enemies are going to assume the absolute worst of what happened and shit on you for it. Like, why? 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 Such a bad move. I don't know. Because, because he's more, he, well, he's extremely concerned with public perception. That's it. And listen, public perception is important when you do this for a living, but not to the point where you need to upload your attempted murder. Like, you, some things can, can stay offline. Would you believe it? Oh. He's the one leaning over to get the information. Firstly, they, he, he's, he needs to get that information to see if, like, the guy's coming through. And if Holly's in his position, isn't she... 
Better to keep your mouth closed and let them think you're a fool than to open your mouth and remove all doubts. Pretty much. Yeah, that, that kind of sums it up, I think. Just as fucking vulnerable? No, she's less the dude vulnerable. Wasn't in the yeah, exactly. That's the other thing as well. Is you could have... A, like, I think there was definitely some, uh, you know, insane reactions and people being crazy about it, but... Would I would I want to go on a panel and like defend it and, and be like, oh, actually defend Hunter? Why the fuck would I want to do that? No. You know, I'll defend my views and my perspective on things if I have to, but I'm not going to go and defend another person, particularly if they've made it very clear that they're willing to defend themselves to a fault where they look stupid doing it. Um, and uh, and yeah, like I mean in many ways, Stardust is uh is doing what Holly did, standing in the way. Taking the buck shot to the leg <laughs> for the sake of Hunter. See, she's no, in, no, a, oh. in, in the apartment at the time. Yeah. He didn't want to shoot Holly. They knew that she didn't. She he didn't was want to looking shoot Holly out because in he case was... he, in case he. Can... Yeah, I think one thing. One thing that I, I learned doing this is you should always seek to defend your own perspective on something. I think you should avoid defending the perspective of others. That's for them to do. Defend your own views. And certainly, I, I can't imagine a situation where I would go out my way to defend the actions of someone else beyond just giving a take or perspective about it, right? Uh, particularly when you are not necessarily abreast of all the information um, of what's happened. Maybe for aid. Okay. Oh, yeah, bird shot. Sorry. I'm a Euro cuck. I don't know about guns. He came in, so they were looking from two positions. So he's looking from the position off to his right, which is off the side of his deck, which has an elevated, at, at least uh, some kind of fence that's right there that you can see, right, which is very common for decks inside of the United States, especially if you're on a second story. Um, that it, but even on the first story, you'll have some type of gate around the deck, a uh, wooden gate. He would have been in a better position to be on that side while he stood in front yeah, of the glass. Yeah, I fired glass, a shotgun. But instead, she stood in front of the glass, even though she had a bullet. I fired a shotgun. It was fun. Clay pigeon shooting. Do you know, I'd like to do something like that again, honestly. It'd be fun when my kids are older to take them to do that. I think they'd, I think they'd get a kick out of that. Obviously, they're too young at the moment. Probably blow some fucking farmer's leg off or something. Although to be fair, I think that um, I think there is like the less uh, is it birdshot? I guess it probably is birdshot. You use clay pigeon shooting as well, right? Those things are super sensitive. One day I will stream myself shooting a gun. Okay. One thing I I, I do kind of want to go back to America fairly soon. I love I love America. Honestly, love love spending time in America. It's good. So it'd be good to go again and do some American things. Stream some of it. Oh. Please don't turn the gun on yourself. What? Why would I do that? Already. But she was, but they, but she was also <laughs> texting him at the time. So about how she couldn't text him from a cover position. We're just having no, no, the same about, exact he... fucking debate that I had with Andrew. Like, we, yeah, no, we literally... I, it's been yes, right. exactly. Okay. Why? Fair enough. Why have you done this? What is the point? Why have you walked into the fucking feces covered punji sticks that Viet Cong Andrew has set up? Why would you do yeah, such a think, thing? I think you're just running you, in a... you really want to do the same exact debate with him, you know? <laughs> Amazing <laughs> overtime segment on the kill stream. I have right. to say, oh, the, there was one super chat for you, Andrew. Sure. Uh, let, let, well, let me read this. Uh, it says, BPF's lungs. Please, Andrew, we can't take any more cigarettes. You have smoked two packs in this debate alone. Please, we are so black. We have we have started robbing licking slicker stores. What? Yo! <laughs> Yo! I disavow that. Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas to you, Ethan. Merry Christmas. And I knew that was about to happen. I, <laughs> impish behavior. You know, uh, I probably from the is, I shouldn't have invited him. Days, I shouldn't right? have even told him. I shouldn't have even told Beckett that Andrew was asking for him to come on. Oh, I knew because exactly of course, what was about to happen. Oh, no. Wait, Stardust, but <laughs> Stardust is the one that bought this. <laughs> How are your instincts so fucked that you cannot foresee this series of events occurring and you lead to this happening to yourself? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god. Yep. Literally asking for it. Of course. Then we're he's men, just going to use it as an opportunity to 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 undermine me, right? So nice. <laughs> yes, it's fucking Andrew Wilson. I just watched. I watched the debate where Andrew Wilson, you know, in a sort of like shady way, threw where he threw shade at this dude over having a fucking trans partner, right? I think it was a little bit of like you know underhanded. Oh yeah, I'm going to get it in there, right? That then freaked the guy out. As the guy was leaving, he said, have fun with your husband. Referring to this woman, this trans woman. That is Andrew Wilson's whole fucking shtick. Using whatever he can to undermine you. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I want to do. How can your instincts be so fucked that you cannot foresee that happening? And you walk into this punji stick trap. Oh, my God. It's just unbelievable. That's, that's, Beckett, that you're, is, that bro, is, you're in the doghouse, man. You're, you're in, in the doghouse. Dog yeah, you better start <laughs> shopping you, for some nice Christmas gifts. All of you Christmas are in the doghouse. Every single one of you. Us. Andrew, we are no longer friends. I'm no longer friends with Andrew. I'm no I longer friends with with Ethan. No. Uh, and Becky, wait a minute. Goodbye. All right. No. I'm just saying. I am no, no longer. Wait a minute. Wait, I didn't the, do anything. Wait, no, we're no, none of us. That's Andrew. No, I'm, I'm I didn't done. do anything. No, no, that's Ethan, not fair. Ethan didn't even do nothing. That, that <laughs> doesn't do matter. Nothing. It doesn't matter. You're I even stopped it. you from breaking up with him on air. What do you mean? Oh, it would have been content. Been Why did you stop it? Well, because <laughs> I felt so bad for you. What the fuck? I didn't want to see that. Oh, well, well, Ethan, I'm sorry that I broke up all of your friendships this evening. What but the thank fuck, you, man? Thank I can't you. lose any more friends. Thank you for having me on the kill streak this evening. I appreciate it. Merry fucking Christmas to all you. The unstoppable Merry stardust, Christmas. the indomitable Andrew Wilson. <laughs> Beckett, thank you for joining us in your debut. What a hell, hellacious debut here. Have a great night, man. <laughs> night. Thank you for having us, right, cool. uh, Ethan. You're welcome. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. All right, bye. bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. Oh. Uh, all right, fun stuff, guys. <laughs> I'm never bringing Beckett on to any debate ever again, oh. ever. No. <laughs> Never should have in the first place. Oh, the recognition of the mistakes made. Uh, Mr. Enigmatic, maybe you shut the fuck up, you stupid fucking idiot. All right. Um, I am. I'm never bringing him on ever again. Ever. Yes, that is unironically the correct decision. Never bring your partner onto some debate you're doing on the kill stream. That should be obvious. Oh, uh, just Stilk is doing a after hours Making thing. A little yolk, okay. Just so a little it's yolk. just like, um, we should watch the Keffels thingy. Anyway, guys, I'm I'm done with this. I mean, that's uh, that's enough for a little segment there. There is more to this drama, apparently. Um, from what I understand, um, apparently they went on to Tom Foolery stream, and there was a debate. The Alexa stuff, the Queen Alexa stuff got brought up, if anyone knows about that. Uh, I'm sure that a certain someone... Well, I don't want to say actually, because I don't know what is and isn't going to be covered by the people, but I'm certain that there will be other people that are going to cover this going forward. Well, I don't know if Queenman's going to cover it or not. I mean, if he does, great. Also, a uh, known Chudlogic Euler, Legatlanius, also cut a video about it, which I'll link if you want to watch it that way too.